But for a lot of people, they, res- they respond pretty well and they say, ooh, wow, you know, I was, I was stuck at this level for so many years and all of a sudden I just made more progress in the last four months than I have in the last year. And that's a hell of a feeling because we all know. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Evan Santapani and I'm your host. This is AMA. AMA stands for Ask Me Anything because you can literally ask me anything. And it's not just me. In case you haven't dug a little bit deeper, which I would absolutely implore you to do, uh, check out IFBB AMA on Instagram. Check out ifbbama.org for exclusive content that cannot go on our YouTube channel. Uh, check out Centapani Circles on Telegram. It's a whole bunch of resources that we have available. We have a tremendous, tremendous group of guys. So for AMA, there's myself, Lee Priest, Milo Sarchev, Chris Tuttle, Antoine Vaillant, I think I got everybody. Uh, there's such a long list of guys. Uh, and it's that same group plus Juji Mufu, Jay Cutler, Flex Lewis, uh, Jose Raymond. There's a whole bunch of guys on Centapani circles. We're always going back and forth. It's massively entertaining and yes, absolutely informative. Before I begin, there's something I want to ask you guys, right? Because really doing this for you guys. Uh, so we want to know what it is you want to see, right? Is there somebody who is utilizing a platform in a unique fashion? And you say, you know what? Love to see those guys over there. Tell us, what is it? Is it a specific request for a certain topic, a certain style of content? Let us know. Uh, we want to know these things because ultimately, again, like I said, this is for you guys. Always, if there's something you don't like, tell us. Say, yo, guys, you do this. I fucking hate when you do that. Let us know. <laughs> uh, because ultimately, we want this to be as good as it can be. Ideally, we hope that it's good enough that you would feel compelled to share it with your friends, with your colleagues. This continuing hinges heavily upon us getting support, getting the views, uh, so that we can keep putting this stuff out. So please, let us know what we can do to make it as good as it can possibly be. Now, something I wanna dive into today, it's a topic, it's not something I've ever touched upon before, but it's something that has rolled around in my mind quite a bit. That topic is natural versus enhanced competitive bodybuilding. Now, let me preface this by saying, I don't necessarily have a horse in this race. I was not a natural competitor. That said, I have all the respect in the world for natural competitors. I also happen to have a tremendous amount of respect for a lot of enhanced bodybuilders. The level of development that can be achieved when any and all restraints are lifted is pretty astonishing, but I can also absolutely respect the level of development and the degree of condition that some athletes are able to attain without the chemical assistance massively impressive. Uh, and there's there's no doubt that someone committing themselves to a lifelong natural process because of the patience and the dedication that's required. Now, if you go the enhanced route, it takes patience and hard work just the same. But <laughs> we have to acknowledge the fact that if you go the natural route, uh, you're not in for, you know, jumps in progress. Uh, it is it is a very much a long-term commitment. It is a slow game. And I give the people who go that route a lot of credit. One thing that drives me crazy, and that is when you have a natural competitor and he says, well, you know, I could achieve that level of condition if I were to use uh, anabolics too. To which I think to myself, well, maybe you could, but you also might not either. I think that it is very, very possible that there are many times when there are guys who they do well as a natural bodybuilder, but I think it is a fear of theirs that if they ever did cross the line, go over to the other side and use anabolics, that they might not be as good as they think they would be. They, they enjoy speaking from that old, well, if I did this, then I could blah, blah, blah. Now, anybody can say, well, I could do that if, because that's not quantifiable. So that's a, that's a luxury that a lot of natural bodybuilders enjoy is to say, well, sure, imagine what I could do if I took the stuff. Well, 
Maybe, but you also might not, dickhead. Uh, and, you know, it's really easy to kind of stay in that comfortable area where you talk about what you could do, knowing that you don't have to prove it. Uh, so that always made me crazy. Uh, uh, just the same, it drives me crazy when bodybuilders might put down natural competitors and say, ah, you know, who gives a shit about natural competitors? You know, it's, it's not impressive. It most certainly is impressive because like I said earlier, the amount of patience that it takes, let's be honest, for a lot of us, we've reached that point where we were tempted to, you know, go to, go to that other side and we did. <laughs> and to, you know, see somebody who, I'm sure they've had the thought, I'm sure they've had the temptation, they resisted it and they said, no, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do my damnedest without it and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I respect that. I think one of the more notable things that we could say is that, you know, guys who go the natural route, they seem to have an ability for a longer career, right? When Once you decide to start using anabolics, now chances are anybody uses anabolics, they don't just use them one time, <laughs> all right? Uh, if, if you're under the impression, ah, you know what? I'm just gonna do it once. You're probably not gonna, because they work so damn good, usually, some people, uh, you know, some people are not very responsive to it, but for a lot of people, they respond pretty well and they say, "Ooh, wow. You know, I was, I was stuck at this level for so many years and all of a sudden I just made more progress in the last four months than I have in the last year. And that's a hell of a feeling because we all know the, um, the frustration of trying to get through plateaus uh, and being stuck and not moving any which way for long periods of time. That's a tough place to be. Those who decide to use anabolics, typically what happens? Well, yes, obviously you would tend to get bigger, but what are companies that increase in size? Usually a pretty sizable increase in strength. That sounds like a wonderful thing. When you're riding that high, it definitely is. But you have to think about this. You start moving weight that your body wasn't really meant to, to move. <laughs> all right, you know, all of a sudden you're bench pressing four plates for 10 reps and you're squatting uh, five or six plates for reps and you're putting some heavy duty stress on those joints. Guess what, man? Over the years, your body takes a beating. Now the natural competitor, he doesn't have to worry about that. And I think a lot of times natural competitors are under the, the, the misconception that because anabolics do have well, just by the name itself, anabolic, they're tissue building, right? They will aid in recovery. At what point do you become so big, uh, do you become so strong that you start doing things to your body that are actually to its own detriment, in which case the body starts to deteriorate and you start to incur various forms of damage because you're able to use these super physiological poundages uh, that the natural competitor typically, unless you know, maybe they just have this incredible amount of natural strength, in which case we could probably make an argument for, well, maybe his body is equipped to handle it. Uh, that was meant for him. Uh, and a lot of natural guys tend to have much greater longevity, right? So moving into their 50s and their 60s and even into their 70s, you see some guys and they continue to look fantastic. Uh, and I, I don't think I have to point to some of the examples of the modern bodybuilder, uh, whether it's Dorian or Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie maybe is a bit of an extreme case, but guys rack up injuries. You know, Jay Cutler seems to have made it out fairly unscathed. Uh, he seems, still seems very healthy, never really had any injuries to speak of. So I will say natural competitors do seem to have a greater potential for longevity. It's almost ironic. You have some guys, whether they're bodybuilders or powerlifters, right? imagine becoming so big and strong that you do so much damage to your body that at a certain point, maybe you're in your 50s or you're in your 60s, and now you're actually less in, lesser in strength than the average. And it's, it is almost an irony in that you operate at such a super physiological level, you're superhuman. And then you reach a point where you incur so much damage, you cross paths with the regular person and then you almost start to operate at a level that's below that. Also, as an enhanced past competitor, to some degree, it's very worrisome, right? Because none of us want to be crippled. We all wanna look and feel robust for as long as possible. So these are all things to think about because I'm gonna tell you right now, time goes by quickly. 
I'm 40 years old. It, just yesterday, I was in my early 20s. <laughs> we all feel indestructible. Uh, none of us think that we're going to get hurt. None of us think, you know, when you're, when you're squatting four plates for 20 reps, you're on top of the world, man. Oh man, come on, dude, I'm gonna feel this way forever. This this weight, this isn't gonna hurt me. It feels great, it's not, not even heavy. I just did it for 20 reps, man. Of course I can handle it. Over time, it's gonna start to beat you down. <laughs> and uh, when it comes to natural versus enhanced, there is no right or wrong answer. Uh, everything is a personal choice. Both are deserving of a massive degree of respect. When you are competing in an organization where there is no drug testing and there are no holds barred, that's not an easy place to compete either. Okay, I understand the, the difficulties and the frustrations of the natural competitor, and I, I can absolutely acknowledge those, or, or to try to attain peak physical development and peak condition without the use of, you know, that's tough. That is hard, man. But I'm gonna tell you right now, competing uh, with the brakes off against guys who got access and they can do anything they want, that's not easy either. <laughs> so bottom line, it's all bodybuilding. It's all good shit. Whichever road you go down, you wanna try to do it in a way that is con as conducive as possible to long-term health. You wanna be in this for the long run. Be careful, guys. It's always a pleasure. I'll talk to you soon.